Hi guys, Miss Carly here with your art lesson for this week. Um, so this week we are going to start working on an Easter project. Um, I know we just got done with St. Patrick's Day, but Easter is only a few weeks away actually. So we're going to do an Easter lily project today, which is the type of flower you see around Easter time. And we're going to use our handprints to make it. So I sent down all the supplies already with a little strip of paper that lets you know what you're going to need. Um, so you're going to need that stuff and then you're also going to need your art kits because you need um, something to draw with, scissors, and a glue stick. So if you want to gather all the stuff up and then come back, I'll show you how we're going to do this. So here are the supplies that you guys should have. You should have one of the big folded pieces of paper that has the egg shaped um, traced on it and you guys can choose what color you want. There's a few different options. You're also going to need the white piece of paper, one of each of the green pieces, so there's a big one and a little one, and a little tiny yellow piece of paper. That's what we're going to need. So what we're going to do first is draw everything first, then we can cut everything out and assemble. So the first piece that we are going to do something with is the white piece. This is what we're going to put our hand prints on. So what you need to do is fold this three times, like tri-fold it, so fold one side over and then fold the other side over. That way you have three layers, okay? That This will save us some uh, tracing and cutting time. So then what you're going to do is put your hand right on top and you're going to trace around your hand. Just like that. And then you can just close off the bottom. Okay, and we'll set that aside because we will cut everything together. The next piece that you need is the bigger green piece. So there's one that's a big rectangle. And this one you want to fold the same way. You want to fold in threes. So it looks kind of like an accordion. And on the top, we are going to draw a leaf shape. We're going to draw three of them. I'm going to do it in marker just so you can see a little bit better. So to do a leaf, We've done this shape before. It's a smile shape and then a frown. And you want to do three of them. Smile, frown, smile, frown. And they don't have to be super big. They can be um, fairly small. Okay, so that's everything we need to draw. So now we can start cutting. So the first things you're going to cut You can cut out your hand, so you're going to cut around your, keep, keep it folded, that way you will get three of them, and you only have to cut once. The fingers are what are, um, what are going to end up being the petals for the Easter lily. So you want to make sure you get cut around those and don't do just a big oval. Okay. So those are done. Then you can take your leaves. You want to keep this folded as well. And I'm just kind of setting everything off to the side in piles. Keep it folded, cut all three out, and you should end up with nine. Your taller, skinny rectangle, all you're going to do with this is cut it into three strips. So you're just going to cut twice. So you have three strips. Set that over to the side. Last thing to cut is the big paper with the egg shape. This is going to be our background. There we 
we go. You cut that and you should have an egg. Okay, now we can start assembling. So I'll turn it this way so you can see it. So this is our background. So first you want to write names on the back. And then flip it over. Going to need a glue stick. So first thing you're going to glue on are the long strips. These are the stems. And you want to kind of spread them out that way you have enough room for the flowers at the top. And then next you can grab your leaves. You should have enough to put a few on each of your stems. You can do more on one stem, less on another. It's up to you how you divide them up. Are the flowers the actual lilies so what you're going to do is take one at a time and you're going to roll it over like this so roll one side over and then roll the other side over and you're going to want to glue it so I put glue right here in the middle I'm going to fold one side over and hold it for just a second and then fold the other side over and hold it for just a second and then if you just hold them, it should stick. And then you can put glue right up here at the top and glue that on. I will show you how to fold the petals down in just a second. You're going to do the same thing to all three of the hands. Put glue in the middle, one side over and then the other side over. Okay, and then do the last one. One side other side and then glue it up here at the top. Okay. If they're not sticking real well with the glue, you are welcome to use just a tiny little piece of tape to hold it down. It can just be a tiny little piece, that way you don't really see it. That one's holding good, but these two didn't stick very well. Okay, then you have a little yellow piece of paper, and this you're just going to rip. You only need three little pieces, so I just did mine into little strips. And you're going to crinkle it just a little bit, and that gets glued in the center of each hand and that is supposed to look like the centers of the flower. Like that. Last one. And then I will show you how to Okay, so we got the centers. Now you can leave the flowers like this or if you want them to curl a little bit you can take a pencil or a marker and roll the fingers down, especially these two. Um, that will make them curl a little bit and then it's not so straight. If you do it on the thumb in the pinky, then you're good. If you would like to do these ones, you can. 
you just want to make sure you curl them back. That way you can see the centers of the flower. And that's what they would look like. So you can just keep going around each one. Curl each petal. So they'll be curled back like that. So if you want them curled, that's how you do it. If not, you can just leave them straight. Either way is completely fine. But that is what your Easter Lily project will look like. They're very pretty. You can either push it back up here. You can either um, hang these up in the classroom or outside the classroom, or take them home. It's up to you guys. I don't need them back, so you are um, free to do whatever you would like with these. If you have extra supplies, those can go back in the plastic bag. Just go outside your door in the mailbox and I will come around um, either this afternoon or the next day and pick those up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you next time for art. Bye guys.